time and space as we share in Christ the feast that frees us all are welcome all are welcome all are welcome in this place let us build a house where This house proclaim from floor to rafter all our welcome all our welcome all our welcome in this place Thanks Maggie Happy Easter Yep it's still Easter and welcome to Sunday School. You're going to need a few things, all of your normal wondering supplies, and your story box. And if you ate all of your jelly beans, you're going to need a jelly bean, or a goldfish cracker, or something like that. All right, let's listen to Miss Lori tell us what else we need from our story box. Today's story is about the road to Emmaus. We are in the season of Easter, when we celebrate Jesus died, but God made him alive again. We will need our stupapple, waffle for our Jesse box. We will need our people of God, bag, and we will need the little bag. and the desert bundle. Also, our church calendar. Oh, and the road. So let's first put out desert. Silver. This is good when we're traveling from place to place. So let's see. It's also a good place to show you the calendar. Let's see. I've got it. You can go both ways, but it's easier to go the same way. All right. There's Advent and Christmas and Epiphany, which is green, and Lent, which is purple, and Easter, which is gold. And now we're in the season of Easter. And there'll be several different stories here um, that are all really great until we get to the red one, which is Pentecost. That's the, we started, well, we started way over here and then here. But right now, we're in the season of Easter. Now, after Jesus died, Mary Magdalene told the disciples that she had seen him. But not everybody really understood what she meant because it sounded so strange. So, we're going to put up this special room, which is for our indoor stories, it'll go right here. I guess it'll go here. See, here's the road. And we'll need the biggest block to be a table. And we'll need two men who are Jesus's friends. And then from the lip bag, we can take out the plate, the table, and the cup. 
cup and put that on the table. here and then when the storyteller talks about the bread then you can put it out two friends of Jesus were walking from Jerusalem to Emmaus Our story today is The Road to Emmaus. We found it in Young Children in Worship on page 196. You can find it in your Bible in Luke chapter 24. Our storyteller today is Miss Vicki. Let's listen. Happy Easter. I know that Easter was last Sunday, but we're in the season of Easter and Easter is six weeks long. So we're gonna have plenty of time to tell stories about Easter. The Easter season is a special time when we remember the mystery of how Jesus died and how God made him alive again. For this story, we need a road. Here it is. This road is going from Jerusalem to a town called Emmaus. And here is Emmaus. And we also need a special table right there. So, as we recall, a few days before the story takes place, Jesus died and when Jesus died on the cross he was taken down and his body was put into a tomb when it was put into the tomb a few days later some friends of Jesus went to the tomb to get his body ready for burial um, but when they got there the stone that covered the tomb had been rolled open and when it was rolled open they looked inside and Jesus body was not there they were very upset some of the uh, friends ran back towards Jerusalem to um, you know they were upset they wanted to tell what had happened one of the women had stayed behind and she just cried by the tomb she was so upset she couldn't understand where they took the body. And a gardener had stopped and saw her and he said, why are you crying? And she said, because they took the body of Jesus and I don't know where they took him. And he said to her, her name. And when she heard him say her name, she realized that she was actually talking to Jesus. And she was so happy. And then she went running to Jerusalem to tell everybody he is alive and that she saw him. Well, at around that same time, two of other Jesus' friends were walking down a road 
from Jerusalem going towards Emmaus. They too were very upset. This is a very strange, confusing, sad time for Jesus' friends. So much had happened, so many terrible things, and they had believed that Jesus was going to be their king. Now he's dead, and they just don't know what's going to happen, and they don't know why he died. Why did this happen? So they're talking about this amongst themselves, and then along the road, there's a gentleman who's standing to the side, and he starts walking along with them. He's listening to their conversation, and he says to them, you know, I think that the reason why Jesus lived was to show us how to live. And they kept walking, and they were all walking together. When they got towards Emmaus, the two friends were going to stop. They noticed that the other gentleman was going to keep on going. But they said to him, why don't you stop and stay with us and have dinner? And so he did. And they sat around the table together. There was a plate with bread. There it was. And the man took the bread and he blessed it and he broke it for each and said, take and eat. Well, as soon as he said that, their eyes had opened. They realized, wait a minute, this is Jesus. Oh my. Jesus said to them, I am with you, and I'm with you now, but even when I'm not with you, I will always be with you in your hearts. And then he left. Oh my God, so they were so happy. So they were so excited that they started running back to Jerusalem to tell their friends that yes, indeed, the other friends of Jesus who said that Jesus had ridden, risen, <laughs> it's true and that he is actually risen indeed. Alleluia. So this is a happy story. Like a lot of Easter, Easter is a happy time for us. It starts being really, really sad, but then it's really, really happy. And it's very, very exciting too, I think. Um, such excitement for these men. So I wonder what it felt like when they were walking to Emmaus, sad thinking that the person that they loved so much and thought was going to lead them was dead. And then I wonder how they felt when Jesus made himself aware to them. And also what Jesus must have spoken to them about on the way to Emmaus and all the wonderful things he must have said to them. I wonder how it felt to break bread with him once they realized that it was Jesus. And I wonder if all of this actually looks kind of familiar to you. There's a table, there's bread, and there's the wine. I'm sure that we're going to have a lot more wonderful stories to hear every single week of Easter. And I hope that you have a wonderful Sunday. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. It's time for your own work.
May this time be a space for creativity and storytelling and blessing. Thank you.